Welcome back to Gar's Graveyard Garage. This video is going to kind of be all over the place. We're going to be doing a few different things and we have a lot of updates. So let's get started. What's going on everybody? Here with the beaker and Little Muppets over there and the son-in-law went to go pick up the keys from Iceman for Caretaker because we're going to try and get that started. If you notice there is no Billy Ray sitting here like there normally is because apparently it was too ugly for the neighbors and they wanted it hidden or gone so we moved it to a remote location for storage that way they don't have to look at it and i don't have to hear complainers we are currently in the process of washing foley we were going to do a will it run on this but after about two minutes of just squirting some gas in the intake and bumping the key it fired up so it's obviously a fuel problem so we'll dig into that but we know it runs so we got that and then caretaker moved him over here we need to put the few finishing pieces on it the cooling fan and whatnot and then i ordered the stuff for the fuel injection system to put a return line on the fuel tank for the fuel injection so we can get that done right thanos is was done uh he now runs and drives perfect but before the first test drive i hit the brake pedal and blew a brake line he does not want to leave, but everything else is running good. And on top of all that, we'll have to update you on everything else going on because this one over here uh, decided to pull something that we're going to film for another episode. I'm hoping next weekend if everything goes right. But she hit me up the other night and said, do you trust me with your vehicles? And I said, that's a loaded question. But basically she wanted to steal one of my vehicles to do a deal. And because I asked so many questions, she had to let me know what the deal was. Yeah, we're gonna save that for another episode, but one of our project vehicles is gonna be leaving for another one. So it threw off our game plan of all the engine swapping we were getting ready to do. <laughs> yeah, she's over here giggling. <laughs> so, We'll, uh, we'll talk more about that later, but first things first, let's uh, get this thing clean and uh, get all this moss off of it. And this should be pretty satisfying to knock off because I think underneath all of this, it's going to look pretty good. So let's uh, cue the music and get this thing clean.
I'm not real sure how the uh, fuel pumps work on this. I know there's like a lift pump right there and then I believe a fuel pump in each tank. What I'm wondering is if we crank it, we got the fuel line off right now. If we crank it, is it gonna pump any fuel? Because when we did prime this, you could hear the lift pump and it did squirt some, but then it stopped. But I'm wondering if it has to crank to activate the other fuel pumps. I'm not real sure how this system works, but I figured we'd give it a shot. Because there's key on, nothing. Let's try cranking. That's residual gas. Oh. It squirted a little bit. Um, flip to the other, yeah, say flip to the other tank, let's see. The fuel gauge says they're both empty, so I don't know if that's accurate or not. One of those pulleys under there sounds real bad. Guess what we need to do is, well, we need to find, let me find the relays. Let's find the relays to those internal pumps and we'll uh, put some power to them and see if they're actually kicking on. Okay, we uh, have a theory this thing might just be out of gas. So we're gonna find out. So beakers are gonna run over and grab some gas real quick. And Steven crawled under there and he said it sounded like this tank was making noise. And we rocked the van back and forth and couldn't hear anything sloshing around in there. So we're gonna find out if it's just out of gas and the fuel gauge is correct. And then if we find out this thing was just parked because it was out of gas, uh, we made out pretty good. But, all right. So we're, what we're gonna do now is jump over here to caretaker and there's a new ignition switch in it with tumbler hanging the original one's still in there so what we got to do is drill it out so we can get it mounted back in the dash and then we need to put the cooling fan on it and then we'll do an inspection and see what else we're lacking uh, i know the gas tank to this truck is sitting in the back ordered the parts to do that so just waiting on those to get here but they have a gas can rigged in it right now with uh, external fuel pump, I guess high rated, 50 PSI or whatever it is. So yeah, so let's drill out that ignition switch real quick and uh, get the new one in. And then we will uh, put the cooling fan in and try and fire that bad boy up. All right, we gotta get this one out so we can save this ring. You can't get this ring off till that's out. So we gotta get that out and then we can pop the new one in that we actually have keys for. Oh, let's see how this goes. I've done enough of these around here now. We'll get you some food in just a minute. Okay. <laughs> that thing will screw off yet. Oh. Is that, is that enough to get it off?
No, not spinning. Let me know that way. Can I spin it? Yeah, there you go. Hold, uh, try and turn it. The other way. Other way. Wait, no, the other way. Yeah, no, the other way. Yeah, that way. <laughs> there's still a bunch of wires going to the thing. No, there's no wires going to it, but plugs on the bottom. It's probably going to stop. It's probably at the stopping point. We've got to get this out the rest of the way. I think that's the ring we needed off. Can you hold it? Yep. Yeah, I think that was the ring. I believe. Can you wiggle it off? Huh? Well, well, put some more drill to it. Don't put your hand behind it just in case the drill goes. <laughs> there it goes. All right. <laughs> okay. I need two hands for this, so let me get this mounted real quick, and then uh, we'll see if the uh, key works. This should be the right keys. Whoa. All right. Well, we got power. <laughs> Um, I need, uh, I need a pin to get this switch out. Let's see if this fits in that hole. Yep, okay. Is it backwards? No. Finally got it out. Let's see, this goes on here. Uh, oh, flat spot, there it is. Like that. And that's gonna go up in here. Hold the back of the switch so we can make sure it doesn't go out of whack. Okay, tight. Oh yeah. Should be good. All right. Now I'll put the switch back in. There you go. Now, ignition switch in dash. Okay, so next let's uh, get the cooling fan on because it does not have one and then we need to check the coolant. I wasn't sure why I was keeping it when I did, but when I tore apart that other LS, Kept uh, kept this one. Still, yeah, still good. All right, there we go. Put some PB blaster on it before we put it back. Of course, eventually on this, we'll uh, probably convert it over to electric fans. But for right now, we want to uh, get this thing running and driving. All right, let's put some blaster all up in there and on the threads. All right. One thing I noticed is they don't have the uh, part of the exhaust with the O2s in it, so there's no O2s, but the plugs are there, so that needs to be finished. Uh, it looks like everything else is done. I'm not sure. Oh, they have the solenoid disconnected. Are they doing away with... Yeah, I'll have to look at all that and see if... See if anything else is not, that's O2. 
Yeah, we'll figure all that out. And we gotta hook up the uh, brake booster if we get the brakes working. We know right now they're not. It's just one screw. Let's see, this one spins backwards, I believe. It's been a while, I always do electric. Let me see, look at the threads. Nope, goes goes the correct way. Is Swamp Ring's speedometer that far off or does it feel that slow? It feels that slow because you're up in the air. <laughs> yeah, because he's higher than Luda. Oh, oh, stay still. Started. All right, good. I'll we'll give that a shot. That is definitely, yeah, it's also shroud didn't really line up, but it'll do its job. All right, that is done ish. Uh, let's see if there's any cooling in this thing. Uh, you want to grab a jug of water? <laughs> it's a little low. Where's the jug of water at? Grab any of those jugs right there. I've got one in the back of the already full. Is it water? Yeah. Oh, that's all right. We, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, we need to. I don't know how low it is. I can't see it, but. Okay, ignition switch is in, fan is on. We'll get some uh, water in it, and then we will, oh, let's see how much, put a little fuel in this can back here. Let's see. This is how they have it rigged right now. Uh, it should be enough to run it. And definitely getting rid of the uh, Escalade gauges. So, all right, we'll get some uh, water in it and then uh, we will try this thing out. All right, Beaker's gonna do the honors. It was not even a quarter gallon low on coolant. Uh, turn the key on, let's make sure everything. I think that was a fuel pump. Mm, kinda like it. Okay, uh, go ahead. your high beam low beam switch okay. we know that's not gonna work oh wait that's temperature what is why is there two temperature gauges transmission and coolant it might be yeah because that's the transmission yeah. oh yeah there it is okay all right which that's not gonna work either i don't think well it might they, i don't know if they have it hooked up or not <laughs> oh, wait till it's uh... Don't put the exhaust on it. No, we're gonna put headers on it. That's that's stock exhaust. We're gonna have headers on it. Probably with some side pipes or something. Do something something crazy with it. Sit here and run a little bit. 
until it either runs out of gas or gets up to temperature. There's not very much gas in that gas can, so. All right, we'll be right back. All right, we got up to temperature right about the time we ran out of gas. So this thing runs really good. Totally stoked about that. We just gotta get the brakes working. There are no brakes and we gotta get the uh, booster hooked up. So what we're gonna try now is putting some fuel in Foley and see if the gas gauge actually moves and then see if it actually pumps. So let's uh, try that now. Okay, threw a few gallons in the front tank because it sounded like that was the one making noise. Let's see if we get any squirt over here. Oh. Oh. It's squirting. Let's try cranking. Well, how's it doing that with nothing hooked up? <laughs> <laughs> What's that smell like? Uh, I think that it might be, it's a mixture of both. We have to stop on that one for now because it looks like one, if not both of the in-tank fuel pumps are bad and possibly the switch over from front to rear. I'll have to dive into that more later, but got a lot of, stuff to do this week before next weekend where uh as of right now we are on sunday morning heading to dallas to work on this deal my daughter set up um so yeah we got to do a lot of that stuff but i figured uh you guys might want to see if you heard uh if you watched the the video on the infinity thanos you heard how bad that thing ran well it's running right now with the new engine had to put a new alternator on it, had to put a new plastic fan on it, did uh, all the you know normal stuff, new plugs, wires, cap. Uh, I need to hook up the AC compressor, throw a charge in it, see if it's gonna take a charge. And uh, yeah, so I've got it sitting here running, trying to get all this old gas out of it, but it's running this good on four or five year old gas. But it's, uh, oh, Got the brake lights. If you watched before, the brake lights were stuck on. Figured that out. It was just the little pads under the brake pedal were making the switch stay uh, basically on. Uh, the only light we got, doors open and a brake light, which is probably uh, has to do with that busted, hopefully the busted uh, brake line back there, if that's what it is. I need to dig around in there and see what it is. Other than that, Everything on this thing works. Uh, we have one one light out, but we do have a tape error. And this volume knob has a mind of its own. But the sound system in here actually sounds really good. All the speakers work great. Uh, I haven't tried the CD player because the teeter said she's probably gonna put a whole new stereo in here anyways. But yeah, it's come a long ways. It's finally uh, done. Well, that part, now I've got to work on the brakes. So, alrighty, I think that's gonna wrap up this video. Sorry about that, got interrupted by some people driving by yelling something and then another truck right after that yelling about Zombug. And that's the kind of thing that happens when you have cool toys by the road. Uh, but anyways, yeah, we've got a lot to do this week, so uh, we're not doing a lot this weekend. Trying to get things, I spent a whole day yesterday playing car Tetris, reorganizing, getting things where they need to be, and then uh, pulling stuff out that needs to be pulled out. Uh, getting ready to pull Millie the Falcon back out, get it in the garage now that I have a spot, get the transmission out of that, and attempt my first two-speed Ford-O-Matic rebuild. So that's uh, about to happen, and uh, the video next weekend, uh, not sure what day it's gonna get posted because Sunday morning we're scheduled to drive to Dallas, me, uh, Beaker, and Iceman to go do this deal that my daughter set up. So uh, hope you guys are having a uh, great weekend. And uh, again, sorry for the short video. This was a last minute kind of a tinker thing with the family. So 
We will see you again uh, hopefully next week after we get the trip over with. Uh, it'll either be Sunday or Monday. We'll get that video up. So we will see you then.